NAS versus cloud versus SharePoint. What's the difference and which is best for you? This week on the Burak IT podcast, we're going to talk about different ways of storing files and what works best for your scenario. For example, as an individual, you're going to store files on a computer, whether that's a desktop computer or a laptop computer, and you're going to access those files on the same device nearly every day of the week. As you grow to have a team, you want to share files between each other, emailing files is traditionally what most people do. But that's not the best way to share files because you update a file or they update a file, you're not looking at the most up-to-date version of the file. So what's the best way around this? What you can do is store the files in one place. So whether that's a server, whether that's on an online storage, which is a cloud solution, or utilizing the SharePoint cloud solution as part of Office 365 could be the difference from one person's scenario to the other person's scenario. So if you don't want to, for example, have files in the cloud, you might want them on a server or a little network attached storage device, which is abbreviated as a NAS device, then you could allow for multiple members of your team to save the file in one shared area without keeping the file online. Now that's great if you want to keep it all offline. And it also means that there's no monthly subscription. It's a one-time upfront cost for the hardware and the internal components of the device. Over over the course of 12 months, 24 months, 36 months, you'd be recouping that cost. And the longer you keep with that solution, the better for your team. And it means that your overheads can be reduced as a result. That scenario may work for you. It may not work for everyone. So the next solution is to store it on cloud storage, whether that's OneDrive, Dropbox, Office 365 as part of the OneDrive solution. It could also be um, G Drive, and various other types of online storage systems. Now, I'm not going to go into the difference between those individual companies, but collectively, when you save files in those areas, they are personal to yourself, just like those files are on your computer. It also means that you could connect up a second computer, a mobile device, a tablet device, so that you can open that same file that you saved previously onto these other devices. So it gives you that flexibility of opening files in multiple locations and editing those files in multiple locations. So where this varies to the earlier scenario we talked about is that you don't have an upfront cost at the beginning but you do have a monthly subscription cost now if it's just yourself you could end up saving money over the first option with the NAS device because you're not investing in a certain amount of IT equipment And as an individual, it's not going to cost you on a high monthly subscription. 
So you could financially be better off with this solution. And you've got the flexibility that you've got access across multiple devices. Now, if you're a growing team, then the next stage up would be utilizing shared online cloud storage. Now, the offering from Office 365 is SharePoint. With SharePoint, you've got the functionality where you can access the same files as team members. You can have restricted access to certain folders and you can access these files across multiple devices. So whether that's your tablet, your mobile, your laptop, your desktop, and so on. Because of this, you get the benefits of the individual cloud storage and you get um, the benefits of no upfront costs that's related to purchasing a server or a NAS, or a NAS storage device. So this might be the option for your needs. So as we compared with the NAS storage option, you don't have a monthly subscription, but you have the upfront cost. With the individual online storage, you don't have the upfront cost, but you've got a subscription, which is a low cost subscription. And with SharePoint as part of Office 365, you have the monthly subscription that you pay for as your team's growing, but you, you don't have the upfront cost as well. So they're the three different models of if you're going to use local storage, online storage, or shared online storage. Now, if you want to know more about these solutions for your business, please drop us a comment below. Subscribe for more videos from our team. Thanks for watching and have a great day.